What is up guys, Johnny here back with more Shadowgun Legends news. We got something new in the game. First of all, if you did log in in the game yesterday after the mad stream, there was an increased drop rate on the Easter eggs for the rest of the event. So we got three days left, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because Monday morning it's over. So it's your last chance to get enough eggs if you want the new Project Ember Mark II or anything else that's available for the event. But there's something else and someone noticed on the Discord, posted the screenshot. Look at the content of the uh, Daily Missions Rewards crate. They changed the content of the Neo crate. We now have three full sets of armor. The Raptor Plus is still there. The Aztec set is still there. But they added the Adjudicator set. Adjudicator set was an old event. I think it was PvP event number one or two probably number two number one was definitely raptor plus but hey adjudicator was an uh event reward right so the full set is there now you see the the three full sets five times so you got all the pieces but the significantly reduced the amount of neo weapons in the crate and i was pretty sad when i saw that because on the previous rotation there was 30 different weapons right no 30 different items and 20 different weapons i was missing one the lazy 2 smg and in the new rotation lazy 2 smg is out of the rotation it's not available right now so i don't know if it's gonna come back but it's pretty sad for a collector to miss one piece and then it rotates out it was not there very long and for 30 different items in the box uh, you need to open a lot of boxes to get everything once, right? Anyways, I'm going to do my dailies. We're going to cut this and I'm going to be back. We're going to open two crates and see if we can get one of the new adjudicator piece of armor. Now, of course, we're not going to get two boxes today because my mission is the Lion's Den and it's freaking bugged. I just wasted 20 minutes. It was desync. I cannot place the last charge to finish the mission. So, yeah, it's going to be one box today. GG. I'm pretty frustrated right now, but whatever. So, one box to open. Let's see what we got today. It is a showcase to Neo. Not good, guys. But, hey, whatever. Just going to report, I guess, and... Send feedback, and that's gonna be it for today. Thank you for watching. Psych! I was just trolling, guys. I found a great website. It's called google.com. I went there. You can search pretty much anything you want. And I type in the search box, Shadowgun Legends, The Lion's Den. And look what I found. I found hundreds of results about people getting stuck in the lion's den. Uh, is it bugged? Uh, is it glitched? Uh, what about the crash, the bug, cannot place the second charge? And I went on the Mad Finger Games forums, December 2018, and uh, it says Lion's Den resolved. And I did read a little bit, and I found some guys, uh, found a workaround, and since like months ago, okay? Same problem, two out of three bombs placed. And I did read, and someone says, try placing the second bomb before you kill the spiders. And I did it, okay? And it worked. And all the guys in the forum said it worked. So, this game uh, has been out for a while. And this mission's been bugged for a year and a half or something. 
So community found a way around it faster than the guys can actually repair the mission. But just a quick take, my finger games, maybe you can remove that mission uh, of the rotation because it's really frustrating, really frustrating for real. No joke, okay? I, I just, I don't want to do it again, okay? And lots of people will not go on google.com and try to find a solution. They will just leave the game. It's not cool, not cool at all. But still, we got a crate to open, guys. Hopefully, we get something cool. So here we go, guys. Last chance, Neo crate number two today. My last one. Hopefully, we get gear. And it's Aztec Neo boots. So we're gonna relog to see the perks. We're back. Check the perks on the boots. Hopefully, we get something decent. It is cooldown. Five percent cooldown. Seventeen knockdown. Uh, twice and 13 and two explosion not bad but i think i had better so anyways the cool thing about the new set rotation or box rotation or whatever is you have a much better chance to get armor now instead of 10 armor and 20 weapons is majority of the items are armor and you got a few weapon and it is a good thing because the weapons and neo weapons they kind of all suck right and it's not real legendaries. The community kind of rejected the idea of Neo weapons are legendary weapons. But the armor is real. It's legendary armor. It's got four perks. That's the deal, okay? Armor with four perks means uh, potentially best in slot, okay? Because anything you will get there, you have an extra perk compared to epics. So in the long run... Your legendary armor will take all your gear. It's gonna have, if you got triple crit on the shoulders, you're gonna have triple crit and loot or triple crit and selling or whatever. But when you get to the chest, of course it's hard to get triple HP, but if you get triple HP on a legendary, you have something else. So triple HP and projectile or triple HP and auto heal boost or whatever. So like I said, in the long run, all your armor will be legendary and will be the best possible armor in the game. So shout out to my team games for at least doing this because I, I really appreciate it. Raptor Plus is a really good looking set. Aztec is kind of cool. Adjudicator, not my favorite, but favorite for me out of the three Neo armor sets, definitely the Raptor. Raptor is awesome. It's always been requested by the community. Bring it back. And they did in the best possible way with an extra perk on everything. So that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry about the little rant, but seriously, some things are frustrating. It's really hard. And some guys, they, they had enough after a year and a half of stuff happening. I understand. But we got the best community. And that's why people keep playing after, these, after all these months, right? It's a great game. It's a freaking good game. But some things are a bit annoying and frustrating. So I will be back soon, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Shadow Gun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. Don't forget to watch my other videos. And I will be back soon. Take care.
extraction unit to SG. Coming low and fast for a hostile extraction. Be ready, sir. <laughs> 